draw. John. I don't know that John. I don't know who that is. <laughs> Let's keep going. Artistic license here. I'm gonna click through here. <laughs> I get to change my mind if I don't like the first thing. Nope. Nope. Did a mummy. Pac-Man. Shredding it on a skateboard. Okay, Pac-Man doesn't have arms or legs, but I'm gonna have to be very creative with uh my here. Oh, uh, at least I know who that is. <laughs> uh, talk about on theme. Um, I want to talk a little bit about repurposing and recycling uh, creatively. I am loving learning how to crochet and knit. I met up with uh, a friend and her coworkers. And um, it was at a brewery and it was like three or four hours of all kinds of people getting together who wanted to do some kind of fiber art. And I have a slew of yarn and needles and hooks and machines. And I just put everything I had in a bag that I could carry easily and went to the event and sat down and literally, literally spent like three hours trying to create a magic circle. I am just a very slow learner when it comes to this craft. I don't know what it is. I had a friend, Susan, I think I mentioned, you know, a few episodes before. She spent like six hours with me trying to teach me how to crochet. And I am just really slow at it. I can arm knit. I have arm knitted a blanket. And I've just got to transfer that into the actual needles to, to knit. Um, I'll get there. I know it. It's fun to learn. I love learning something brand new to me. And I'm also not opposed to buying a uh, Afghan or blanket or throw that I have found at Salvation Army or Goodwill uh, for like two or three dollars and making a jacket or a piece of clothing from it because I think it's so comfy and cute. And I have lots of cardigans that I have purchased. Um, so I'm not above buying it because <laughs> I can't make it. Um, but I love recycling like that. Uh, somebody's not going to use it or it may be unraveling a certain place and I can repurpose that. I totally will do it. And I love talking about how you can reinvent things to be new to you and reuse them. And I want to know what is it that you like repurposing, reusing, using as a base for a, a project um, and that's what I want to talk about today is that upcycle. I don't even want to call it a trend because this has been decades. I mean, I have done these things when my kids were little and they're in their 30s. And I have revamped clothing. I have redone clothing. I have cut clothing apart. I can remember in the 80s, I cut a pair of jeans off. And then added the Priscilla curtain ruffles to the base to make a jean ruffle skirt combination. And then that kind of became a popular thing for a while. You had the top part of the skirt denim and the bottom part was fabric. And I just remember thinking hey, that when I was like in eighth grade. And I didn't have a sewing machine, of course. I had to hand sew things because it wasn't allowed to use a sewing machine. And I think the only kind that we had was like the trundle kind that we call it, where the like the singer with the pedal on the bottom. Um, anyway, I I always loved repurposing things into something new, whether it was making doll furniture or if it was making a craft. There is just something so satisfying about upcycling and recycling something and making it unexpected or making it, you know, new to you. So that's what I wanted to talk about. What is it that you love to find out in the world that you recycle and reuse? I know I'm in a paint group and there's a lot of people who do this and I love doing it too as you find something that is, you know, Maybe you don't like it. It's a canvas. It's a board. You're getting it for 50 cents because if you try to buy it new, it's going to be 10, 15, 20 dollars or more. And you use that as your base. 
So you just over it, you paint over it, you prep it, and it's now something that you can use to put your picture on. That is such a fun way to reuse something that you weren't going to, you know, use in the state that it was in. And that's totally acceptable. So keep an open mind when you're looking in thrift stores or clearance racks of different places that maybe it's not a great looking print, but the base is awesome and it would make a good foundation for something that you're going to create. So always keep that in mind. Always keep that in the back of your head that you can use it for something else. Another thing that you can do is pieces and parts of things can be collaged together to make a picture. And so, you know, people have, I've seen so many people collect like the tabs from bread, like the little um, keeper that when you twist the bag and then you clip it, it's that square looking thing in different colors. I've seen people ask on social media, if you have pink or yellow or green, you know, send to me. And then they make the most amazing mosaics out of found pieces of what people would consider trash and they recycle it into like amazing pictures and it's fascinating to me I love that and just think of it as kind of like a if you found a cross stitch pattern and so you take each one of those x's and that's a block of color so you start collecting things in that color to put your picture together so if it's bottle caps or the bread ties or get the uh, anything that's that color and then you start layering it together and think of it as a graph and putting that picture together piece by piece in those colors that's pretty pretty cool makes a really good base for a mixed media piece so you know maybe you don't cross stitch but boy those are really great starting points for some mosaic pictures and the further you stand back like the more it comes into focus because you're not looking at the teeny tiny um details you know close up it's it's like you, you see the details far away and the whole picture comes into view so think about that those those are pretty cool I loved using found things for mosaics I think that that's neat I've done a few mixed media pieces that have had beads and paint layers and fabric layers and just it's so cool when it's done putting it all together Another thing that I love doing is that um, I'll get discarded books. Maybe something was ruined or, you know, pages are missing. And so instead of discarding it, use that for art journaling or, again, mixed media pieces. Use those in your layers. Um, sometimes you can shred the papers and make like the paper pulp, make paper clay. Um, there's a great, I mean, a great community on Instagram, for example, that share their paper um, clay creations. You know, they're not going to be food safe, but they're great catch-alls and they're so cool. You know, just adding water to that and, you know, letting it soak in and making the pulp and making the, the paper out of it. That's really, really neat. Very easy, but a great way to recycle paper. I just saw one this morning and it was um, junk mail. I'm like, that's pretty phenomenal. So that's a really cool way to recycle and make art. And you and I did that with paper. It was for an art contest and it had to be mixed media um, and it was uh, pet drawings. So I built up the art with um, paper and it was like a, a sculpture on a board and it was of our dog and then I painted it. So it turned out pretty cool. So that just takes me into sculptures. I mean, there's just so many things you can put together to make a piece of art. And it's really cool to see um, industrial pieces put together. Maybe you've got a great industrial group of uh, businesses that have a lot of discarded parts. Contact them in your area and see if you can take those pieces off their hands and um, use them to make sculptures. That would still be a dream of mine if I ever got a studio would be to work with area businesses that weren't using pieces and parts of things that maybe they manufacture and 
you know, having that as a resource for other artists that they could come and get pieces of metal or pieces of wire or all kinds of really cool things that they could use for their art and recycling that. And I think that that's a really cool thing to find. I love going to restore and looking for those things because they'll take discarded electrical parts and stuff like that. And it just makes your sculptures and your mixed media pieces a lot more interesting. And don't even think about the sculpture aspect of it. Maybe it would make a really cool piece to imprint on your art. So if you like to do a lot of painting, but you find something with some really cool texture on it, dip that in your paint and then put that on your canvas or dip that into like a plaster, like a drywall mud and put it on the canvas to give it some depth and dimension. So um, think outside the box when it comes to texture and what you can use to make texture, add texture. And it's, you know, past just like the 3D sculpture um, idea of using using materials like that. I love also gardening and planting. And so anything that you can use to make a little container garden or use for your gardening, that's really cool. I mean, that's probably a lot of my Appalachia heritage coming out because I know a lot of people make some pretty cool planters like out of tires down home. And there's some really creative people that have done like the old fashioned bathtub and made those gardens and made, um, not even down home. I've seen some great farm equipment turned into like water fountains and gardens up here. And I just think that's so, so cool. What a neat way to either keep something that has been in your family a long time and you want to repurpose that in a neat way. So I, I love that. I've been to like a couple of venues once there was a truck and there was a waterfall coming out of the hood. I'm like, man, to have the property to be able to set something like that up is so neat. It was beautiful. It was a great like photo op. And, you know, having the ability to repurpose materials into something like that. Oh, my gosh, that's so creative. So if you own a business and you have um, things that you can repurpose and recycle, I have friends that have a coffee business and I'm getting the coffee bags from them and I'm going to make um, totes. And so I have a few now and I'm like, I would love to take all of those and repurpose those into really fun things. So um, that's one of the reasons I'm trying to get all of my you know, workspace in order, because I've got so many ideas to repurpose things um, from friends that have businesses. And I, I just I love thinking outside the box and doing stuff for them. So there's just a lot of media that's out there that we don't use anymore or that we would just got, get bombarded with, like CDs. We used to come in the mail to everybody all the time. And some of them you just never use. But when you break those apart and they look like disco ball pieces and people use those for mosaics, for planters and decorative things for their garden. It's pretty cool because they're like reflective and so pretty. So that's something that you can do with any kind of you know, broken media or even broken dishes. You can use that for planters and inlay that and then grout around it. That's really, really neat. And I know one of the wineries um, here, they just did a whole like revamp. I'm anxious to see what it looks like now. I know they redid a bunch of their lighting and they got a, a salvage company to take all the stuff that they weren't going to use anymore. So people could like upcycle and reuse that, which is phenomenal. Um, but they had these really cool lights that had wine bottles like all over them. What a cool thing to do. You know, if you drink wine or if you love, you know, craft beer and you've just got all kinds of bottles, you know, repurpose those into lights or even cut them. And then you can smooth the edges and make like glasses, drinking glasses. My husband wants to do that. And I'm all for it because I think it'd be really neat. And it's just a really cool craft. And you can, you know, make planters out of that. And there's just all kinds of things that you can do besides recycling the glass. Of course, you know, that's awesome, too. But you can repurpose those into beautiful fixtures for your garden or your house. 
I was into pallet wood recycling forever. Like we would go to the flooring places and ask for their pallets. And it's a lot of work. I mean, you have to take all the nails out. You have to cut things apart. It was just a lot of work to recycle pallets. And I've seen some amazing pieces from pallets, from garden sheds to playgrounds. We used pallets to make an outdoor play kitchen for our granddaughter when we were in Georgia once and had like a mud sink in it. It was just so cute. I just love that time when, you know, she was little to play with that. So I love pallet art. I did boards where we did old recycled maps on pallet boards that we created. Um, just all kinds of things that you can do with wood and recycling and repurposing. He uh, Brian also made, um, it's really strange. When we moved here like eight years ago, he had made this beautiful pallet wine rack. And we had some movers. And that's the only thing we can't find. I don't know what happened to that wine rack. We packed it. I swear, I thought we put it in our car. And it's nowhere to be found. We've never found it. I don't know what happened to it. But it was really cool. He made that out of pallet wood. Um, he's also made me a um, entry table out of pallet wood. And then we took old, they were, I guess, sink basin, like wire racks. Um, and that's the base. Uh, shelves of it it's really really neat and so um, yeah we built that out of pallet and recycled um, uh, wire racks from a, like a dishwasher or a sink um, and so that's in my entryway because my husband built that uh, anything with fabric oh my gosh like there are so many cool things I love I have so many jackets that are like piece quilted and I've made quilt jackets for my daughters and granddaughters. Um, I love making all kinds of things from the like, tops of quilts that people have either never finished or you just find them all rolled up in a thrift store. Um, it's just such a really cool way to recycle and repurpose um, old quilts. And like you can make stuffies out of those. You can cover books and make um, journals out of those. There's jewelry you can make, um, clothing, just so many different things out of old quilts and things, blankets and throws. Um, and it's like a big thing now. And oh my gosh, I can't remember how many years ago I'd made those jackets. And I'm still making stuff out of old quilts. I just, I love finding them because they're always in a thrift store. And there's just, you know, an abundance of one that are like damaged. There's some... Of, beautiful heirlooms where I wouldn't want to like cut apart but there's some that you can tell I think you can tell <laughs> I've gotten yelled at before um but there's just so many things that you can do with the quilt and the clothing and stuff that you can make and it's just really really pretty and I love that because then you can enjoy it even more so those were just some of the things that comes they you know comes to mind when I Think about recycling and repurposing pieces and making it new again to me. And I would love to hear what you do. Um, my husband had a bunch of, um, I think they were license plates at work and they were going to throw them away. I'm like, no, bring them home. They can make birdhouses and they can be the roofs and things like that. So, yes, I love finding new, new life and things that people want to throw away. <laughs> So I would love to hear what you like to repurpose and recycle, or maybe you don't even like to do that. You know, that's fine too. Um, but I do. And I, I love getting ideas and hearing what everybody else likes to do with um, stuff. So I just repurposed my little uh, Pac-Man into a skater, little skater boy. Added some ghosts in the audience and a new Pac-Man up there cheering him on. So. <laughs> Oh my. Well, I am looking forward to the weekend and continuing to work on our basement and cleaning things up. So I have lots of new life and tables and cabinets um, happening for my spot. So very excited to continue to work on that. And I have a lot of painting to do. So I will see you next time. Thanks for joining me. And yeah, share your ideas. Let me know. All oh, beautifully made. So take care. Bye.